guys today i am going to discuss about the sporotrichosis first of all i would like to say if you not subscribe my channel so please subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss any update so guys let's let's start the topic first sporotrichosis sporotrichosis is also known as rose gardener's disease and this rose gardener's disease or sporotrichosis is caused by the fungi that is called sporothrix scanki this <coughs> sporotrichosis is a dimorphic fungi and uh, it uh, develops uh, uh, develops as a hard non tender and subcutaneous nodules in patient this sporotrichosis is developed as what hard non tender and subcutaneous nodules in patient so guys these uh, are the uh, introduction of sporotrichosis now uh, i am going to tell about the epidemiology of the sporotrichosis so this uh, sporotrichosis or rose gardener's disease that uh, is uh, uh, that uh, is mainly caused by sporothrix skanki this sporothrix skanki mostly found in soil plants and organic matters and uh, this sporotrichosis disease or uh, rose gardener disease uh, occurs worldwide so guys uh, these are the epidemiology of the sporotrichosis now what is the risk factor of the sporotrichosis so this gardening landscaping and immunocompromised patient these three are the main risk factor of sporotrichosis so this uh, like immunocompromised patient like diabetes and uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease alcoholism these persons this patient are mostly immunocompromised patient so like uh, the person who have diabetes copd and alcoholism they are the most uh, commonly they are the most uh, Uh, immunocompromised patient and these uh, are the risk factor of sporotrichosis so guys now i am going to tell about the types of uh, uh, sporotrichosis so thus sporotrichosis are uh, 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 subdivided into five types uh, five categories first one is the lymphocutaneous this lymphocutaneous is the most common type of sporotrichosis or rose gardener's disease and in this case the papule develops in lymphocutaneous sporotrichosis the papules develop in the patient within a days or week and you uh, know uh, that uh, inoculation uh, in skin that uh, papules inoculation in skin so these papules are in two forms one is the ulcer and the other one is the nodule form so guys now the second type i am going to tell about the second type of sporotrichosis so this uh, pulmonary sporotrichosis uh, this uh, is the rare rarely occur this uh, pulmonary sporotrichosis rarely occur in the patient and if it occurs then this uh, more commonly occur in patient uh, who have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and alcoholism this patient who have uh, copd and alcoholism they are mostly affected by pulmonary sporotrichosis so guys uh, third one is the osteoarticular uh, sporotrichosis so this uh, is the hematogenous this uh, osteoarticular sporotrichosis is spread uh, like hematogenous and uh, it uh, may be spread by direct inoculation so it uh, mostly occur in patient uh, with the alcoholism and uh, this infection uh, may occur one or more 
in joints this infection occurred in one joint or maybe in more joint see here the osteo means uh, bone the osteo articular uh, sporotrichosis so the joint uh, maybe one joint or more joint will be affected by the osteo articular sporotrichosis so guys the fourth one is the meningeal sporotrichosis so in meningeal sporotrichosis uh, we can say this is a very rare this is a very rare cases uh, occurs and uh, it uh, mostly most likely occurs in AIDS patient and lymphoma patient so guys if uh, a patient uh, who is suffering from meningeal sporotrichosis then they may have uh, symptoms like fever headache and uh, neck stiffness so these are the um, these uh, about the meningeal sporotrichosis so guys now the fifth and last uh, subtype of sporotrichosis is uh, a disseminated sporotrichosis so uh, disseminated sporotrichosis is a serious opportunistic infections and uh, that uh, affected um, the eyes larynx pericardium liver spleen etc these organs are affected by the disseminated sporotrichosis and uh, this uh, um, mostly affect the patient with AIDS the patient who is suffering from AIDS that is affected by or infected by the disseminated sporotrichosis so guys uh, these all are the uh, subclass uh, or subtype of the sporotrichosis or rose gardens disease now what is the symptoms of the sporotrichosis or rose gardener's disease so cough shortness of breath chest pain and fever these are the symptoms uh, main symptoms of the sporotrichosis and uh, uh, these symptoms of disseminated that disseminated sporotrichosis depend uh, on the body parts uh, where this affected this uh, disseminated sporotrichosis uh, depends on the body parts uh, where the infection occurs where the um, the, uh, where the disease occurs so guys uh, these main cough shortness of breath cough shortness of, shortness of breath chest pain and fever these are the main symptoms of the sporotrichosis or rose gardener's disease so guys uh, what is the diagnosis of the uh, sporotrichosis so diagnosis means uh, we can uh, diagnose uh, sporotrichosis or rose gardeners by clinical diagnosis and uh, in clinical diagnosis uh, we can also use swab or biopsy test uh, uh, from the infected site of the individual or patient and for uh, pulmonary sporotrichosis this pulmonary sporotrichosis we can use chest x-ray chest x-ray for the pulmonary sporotrichosis so first uh, the clinical diagnosis and swab or biopsy we can use uh, for the diagnosis of sporotrichosis and uh, here the pulmonary sporotrichosis we can especially use the chest x-ray so guys what is the treatment of uh, the sporotrichosis so we can give itraconazole uh, up to 3 to 6 months so this uh, um, this uh, itraconazole that drug used uh, for the treatment of sporotrichosis and we can also give the saturated uh, potassium iodide and uh, amphotericin b so we can give potassium uh, potassium iodide this saturated potassium iodide and amphotericin b this amphotericin b we should give in the severe cases of sporotrichosis so guys uh, i hope you like my video so thank you so much for listening